Good evening. Families are being urged to cut back massively on the amount of plastic they throw away every single week. The call comes from environmental campaigners who say the true extent of rubbish generated is slowly choking the country. Revealing how much each household bins a year, they say plastic pollution is increasingly harming wildlife and damaging Scotland's magnificent beauty spots. Well, live to James Chain for more. James. Well, each one of these cubes of crushed plastic surrounding me weighs about half a tonne. And in total, this facility gets through about 2,000 tonnes every year. Sounds like a lot, doesn't it? But in fact, the warning is that not enough of the plastic that we use every day in our homes is finding its way to recycling plants like this. Some of it's ending up in landfill instead. And that's a problem. A problem caused by us not putting the right things in the right bins. So there's a challenge for every family in Scotland to try and rise to. We joined one family after their weekly shop to see if they were up to it. This is what we're wasting every year. Up close, it's quite shocking. But often, this tide of household plastic slips by unnoticed. Let's get this in. It starts with the weekly shop. Busy enough to begin with, calculating plastic waste isn't exactly our main concern. I'll get the heavy things, I guess, as usual. Still, most families put some thought towards protecting the environment, and like many, the McDonald's keep a close eye on what rubbish goes where. We have the food bin, we have a recycling bin, and then a general waste bin. And then we got on to the local authority and asked for a second recycling bin. But as a nation, there's warnings we're not recycling everything we could, and that's adding to the plastic waste problem. Studies of Scotland's household garbage have found the plastic we let slip through the net is usually food packaging and drinks bottles. I think over a year could easily be two or three hundred bottles that we might might go through. Mm -hmm. Girls, what do you think? I think a thousand. A thousand? As the family unpacked the big shop, we've been doing some unloading of our own. It could get quite messy, couldn't it? <laughs> yeah. How many is in there? Outside, a year's worth of wasted plastic for a typical Scottish home. <laughs> it's measured in weight, not individual bottles, and we have to go back three times to finish the job. That is shocking to see that. <laughs> Were you surprised? Yeah. yeah. Most of us won't be aware of just how much plastic we use each year. Some of it does get recycled, some plastics can't be. These 29 kilos are the wasted ones. They're what's left. Some households waste more than that, some waste less. But imagine this pile on every front lawn in Scotland and you can begin to appreciate the scale of the challenge. The problem comes when we're not able to recycle materials and when we're disposing of them either in landfill or if we're dropping them as litter. That's where it poses the risk um, of harming our environment. A few weeks ago we saw what that harm can look like. STV News found some Scottish beaches becoming blighted by piles of plastic washed up on the shoreline. Why does your broccoli need to be wrapped in plastic? It doesn't, they only do that so they can put the barcode on it. So you can complain to your supermarket, you can ask where you shop to have something different and you can shop around to find stuff with less plastic packaging. Paying people to bring back these bottles is just one of the big changes we're likely to see soon. But the advice is that every household has a part to play too in shrinking the pile of plastic. James Chain, STV News.